Here is another question that I have received quite often and people want to know where do the tread sizes come from? And for the most part, they're going to come from your local building code books or local building department officials who can provide you with the minimum sizes for your stair steps. And this is going to be the width and the depth. And again, I said minimum sizes. These minimum sizes will be anywhere from 9 to 10 to 11 inches, depending upon what project you're going to be working on or whether or not it's going to be for commercial, industrial, public, or private residential home use. And then once you have those measurements, you can go ahead and lay your stairway out on the ground. And that might look something like this when you're done. You might have a landing and then five steps. And if the minimum building code requirement is 10 inches, then something like this might work. And keep in mind that even though the depth of each one of the steps is the same, this stairway has six inch riser heights going all the way down. This one here has eight inches. And again, this will be another thing you're gonna to wanna to check with your local building department. And I wouldn't be surprised in the future if they change these numbers also. And like I said, you're going to be better off if you don't know a lot about stair building. And that will be to lay out the basic design of the stairway on the ground or on your building foundation floor or even on a sheet of plywood. Something that will provide you with a design of the stairway that can be used to pull measurements from if needed to build your stairway. So again, check with your local building department to find out the minimum and maximum sizes for your treads and risers, along with the minimum width of the stairway before building your stairway.